So I'm out here in my backyard and right behind me, you can see the constellation of Orion the Hunter. And I'm about to take the brand new Celestron Origin Telescope out here, which is a home observatory effectively. I can just pull it outside and within a few seconds, I should have it up and running and imaging. I'm gonna be trying for the Orion Nebula. I also might look at the Horsehead Nebula while I'm here in the Orion area. All right, so here comes the origin. I'm gonna go grab my iPad and we're gonna to try to connect through my home's Wi-Fi system. I'm gonna then head inside to the studio and we're gonna to try to run it from my TV. Currently sitting in the studio and I'm enjoying a beautiful image directly from the origin, which is outside right now. We've got about 2300 or so seconds of exposure and you can see you know the great orion nebula here some of those brighter stars are notoriously difficult to actually image because you not only have the bright stars but you also have faint nebulosity here some faint nebulosity over here in these stars and so to be able to show this level of sophistication in the way that the images are being processed and taken um, especially when you account for what I'm seeing here on my iPad screen this image is not something that I truly expected to see in the time that I have allotted we can do some editing right here within the app oh that's nice um, so I'll change some of the brightness settings here Okay, the contrast settings, oh, I don't like that. That's pushing it too much. So you gotta find a happy medium. One thing to try not to do is that you don't need to make outer space completely black. That's one of the biggest things that people who are just getting started with imaging try way too hard to make the sky black and by doing that you're effectively chopping off a huge amount of the darker data um, there's my live view so with the live view you get a sense as to how this whole process starts man i really wanted to take a look at the horse head nebula and this is the beauty of origin is i can just kind of come over here select it center it and once it's centered, I can do a live view. I can stack for a little bit. It's outside, connected, I'm warm. Let's take a look. Doesn't look like much. Let's hit start imaging, see what happens. It looks like just stars. I don't see any indication that there's anything here. I'm starting to make out some faint images here on my iPad screen. Um, it's gonna take some time. Uh, for this image to come out and be visible like what we saw with the Orion Nebula, but um, this is one I've actually wanted to image for a very, very long time and I've never actually done it. And I just did it because I wanted to. I just decided, okay, that's one I wanna see quick before I move on. And now I've got an image of the Horsehead Nebula. I've never gotten. The productivity that this provides me is worth the sacrifice of all of those years of, of challenging work that I tried and tried to do astrophotography, but this is just next level. I've been imaging the Markarian's chain now for over half an hour. However, um, it's impressive nonetheless. Um, I want to try out something different so I'm going to just download and save the Markarian's chain image. So what I'd like to do now is I would like to actually schedule a number of things to be imaged throughout the rest of the evening. And tomorrow morning I'll wake up and I'll retrieve the scope. So this is me signing off for the night and we will see you in the morning.